Do you deal with worry, with fear, with anxiety? Today's video is going to be on how to not only deal with it, but to overcome fear, anxiety, and worry in your everyday life. So the question gets posed to me all the time. How do you deal with fear, Silas? How do you personally deal with overcoming anxiety or fears? You see, for over 10 years now, I have experienced what is oftentimes known as Eden, <laughs> Nirvana, bliss. I've had the opportunity of living in both places, living in what we would call the dual world and living in the singular bliss of Eden. And I can tell you right now that experiencing singularity, experiencing the bliss of Eden, and recognizing that Eden is no different than your being present right now, in this moment, is what's going to enable you to experience the grace needed in your physical and mental existence to overcome fear, anxiety, depression, anger, rage, the whole assortment of emotions. The very first thing that you need to begin to hear, and again, there is grace here right now for you to overcome anxiety. The grace is present for you to overcome your fear. You are not the body. You are not the thoughts that are going on in your mind. So the first step is to begin to step back from the mind and observe the thoughts. In our mindfulness classes, I oftentimes teach on, and um, these the next mindfulness class begins in September, 2020, but I teach on uh, a sitting meditation, a breathing, uh, uh, and how that enables you the practice of focus or right attention. And this is so important for your mind and overcoming chaotic thinking, discursive thoughts, and the like. You may be in a place where you're experiencing your mind's kind of running the show. Let me just say it this way. Your mind has made you its bitch. And no one wants to be the bitch of your mind. But all of a sudden, thoughts will just go through your mind. And you feel, ah, oh, the chaos in your mind creates chaos in your emotions. You, you can go from feeling like you're special to feeling like you're a complete loser like that. You're not alone. I would dare say the vast majority of human beings experience some up and down, being tossed to and fro like a wave, emotionally and mentally like that. Uh, in Buddhism, they talk about us being like a monkey. Kind of your thoughts are like a monkey. You're just swinging through the tree from branch to branch to branch. And what we're learning to do here is we're learning to settle down the mind. I often talk about the mind as this wild stallion. And it can be a beautiful tool, but it can also throw you off of it if you're not careful. And so we're learning how to use this stallion, how to see it as beautiful, the beautiful mind that it is, and how to begin to bring it in to be able to be used. Instead of it making you its bitch, you're going to use it as a beautiful tool to be able to explore the beautiful world we've been given and experience this beautiful world that we're uh, living in in a brand new way. So the first step is this. Step into the state of present thinking. Touch your body. Take a deep breath. Focus all of your mental attention on the breath. So breathe in with me. And breathe out. Give all of your attention, all of yourself to that breath. And as you breathe in, I want you to simply say this. It's a little mantra for your mind. I want you to breathe in and say, Everything I have need of, I have in this moment. And breathe out. This moment is perfect. So in your mind, you'll be thinking, 
Everything I have need of, I have in this moment, as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, you breathe out, and you say in your mind, everything in this moment is perfect. What we're doing in that is you're actually beginning to train the subconscious, treating it kind of as a mantra to begin to program the subconscious to no longer think negative thoughts or worrisome thoughts to no longer allow little moments to trigger an anxious, an anxiety, or an OCD. But you have to program that subconscious to do that. Now beyond the subconscious programming, how to specifically deal with that worry and fear is to really recognize, to realize in this moment that this moment right here with me as you're watching this video and staring into my eyes, this is all that we have. This is all that's fucking real. There's really nothing else that's real outside of this moment. It's all just in your mind. I've said this very, very many, many, many times. What's in your mind is either past memory or imagination. This moment, though, is all that's real. And so uh, the more that you sink into the realization of the moment that we're experiencing, the less these troublesome thoughts will bother you. When they do bother you, stop what you're doing. Recognize this, that the thoughts are projections of your identified past. If you can realize that, you can slowly begin to shed the skin of ego that's identified as that past and as the thoughts associated with it. And in doing so, you're opening yourself up more and more to this moment and more and more to the beauty of life. I hope this helps. I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.